All right, bro. I am bamboozled. Can somebody have so many coincidental matching things from something so long ago? I gotta know. Okay, so check it. There's this cave down the street from where I live. And they recently just found, like, a bunch of old cave drawings in it. Well, Tennessee, I don't know if you knew this, is home to the oldest cave art identified in North America. Again, you've probably never even heard about it. A professor at the University of Tennessee led the charge that uncovered hundreds of prehistoric images in the Cumberland Plateau. When I say right down the street, I mean, I don't mean like all the way in Chattanooga or all the way in Knoxville or in the Rocky Mountains. No, I mean like right down the street. So I'm sure everybody knows what the Tennessee Tri-Star looks like. It's, it's three star, it's a circle and three stars. Okay, well, when I first moved into Ghost Ranch like six or five or six years ago, I was walking through the woods one day, and I cut this piece out of an old tobacco barn in the middle of the woods. Well, I took it home, and I took it home and got a wood burner, and you can still see, like, it's it's an old piece of wood, like, it's still got the saw, the saw blade marks on it from back in the day, but I took it back home and started wood burning it. I just, I doodle random stuff, whatever's in my head, so I just started burning it and doodling it. Look, do you see this G right here? You see these three dots? You see this, this hill mound? Okay, now look at the entrance to this cave. Okay, so it appears to be a ghost and a G. This is the word ghost. Just hold on, okay? Because listen, if I'm reaching by the end of this video, I got, I got the smallest arms in the world, okay? So keep in mind, this is supposed to be a 6,000 year old cave that nobody's known about, right? All right, if that's the case, why is the letters T in inside this cave in Tennessee? And in between the T and the N looks like what? It looks like the shape of Mount Meru. Meru was said to emit the key of life and may be the gate to heaven. Which is what? The shape of the bicentennial. Whether it was intended or not, the design of the mall has a striking similarity to the ancient drawings of Mount Miru. Well, what a coincidence. My name is Up Church. The Bicentennial Mall State Park was opened in 1996 to celebrate Tennessee's bicentennial celebration and was constructed on an ancient burial mound that was destroyed around the time the city was founded. Um. You're in trouble. What are you fucking crazy or something? So I keep looking at this cave art. I come across this one and I was like, oh shoot, that looks like a chicken. <laughs> and then I was like, nah, that looks like Thoth. You know who Thoth is? I looked him up because I, I remember seeing it in uh, this documentary about Nashville, but he's like the bearer of languages. Toth in Egyptian religion was god of the moon, reckoning, learning, and writing. Oh, blue moon. I wanna be just like you. Hermes was also deified as an Egyptian god with the name Toth, and known to the Hebrews as Enoch. He brew, he brew, H B or Holla Boys. <laughs> Enoch is said to have been snatched into heaven by a whirlwind. Then you rode in with your hair in the wind, baby, with it. Ah, he went up to the main church. <laughs> a star who walked with the gods. I ain't a superstar, I ain't a, I ain't a rolling star. I'm greater than that, they know us back, so one of the chosen one. The far older Sumerians called him Lord Inki, the god of smithcraft. To make weapons with words that sell occupation, wordsmithmanship. All right, so what did I just say yesterday? I was like, bro, there's some reverse shit going on because the Roman numeral on the clock in Nashville is four eyes. And they reversed that and gave it another Roman numeral. But for some reason, at some point in Nashville, the, Ro the Roman clocks used to have four eyes on them. Then they changed them to IV instead of four eyes for some reason. So in this newfound cave art, Toth has Four upside down eyes at his feet. 
So I was like, dude, his name, if it's him, he's, his name has to be written in this cave somewhere. It is. All right, so I kept looking at the cave art. Then I see this. All right, so looking at this cave art, if you're a Tennessee fan or if you're from Tennessee in general, you know that our color is orange. If you look all the way to the left, there is a B in orange. Everybody knows who films my videos is B Loose. All the way to the right, there is a guy and he is illustrated as orange as well. But here's the thing. You notice the wave of hills? You notice the wave of hills in the cave art? Check this out. I know where this picture is. I know what this illustration is. That illustration is of the French trader, uh, uh, Monzier, who documented Nashville in his journal before it was even Nashville, they say. The burial ground was documented by a French trader, Monsieur Charville. The burial ground could date to 13,000 BC, well before the Shaughnessy, Cherokees, and Chickasaws inhabited the area. Native Americans referred to Nashville as the city of the dead, and many graves were excavated from the downtown area. It could be argued that these sites were also chosen for a particular reason. Yeah, maybe to get rid of the Indians' history and some other people's history too. The Tree of Life, or Key of Life, from Enoch is sometimes associated with sound and could have been referring to frequencies or bells. My brothers and me was some rednecks coming up on a one leg. We didn't say goodbye. We sang with straight eyes on the 305. Miru is believed to be the model for the Tower of Babel in Sumer. In ancient Hebrew, the word Babel originally meant gate. Oh really, what gate? Is it downtown? Is it the gate that I keep kicking over and over and over? I like kicking y'all's gate. It's really fun. The cosmic pillar or axis at the center of the world. And if you're going by ley lines and energy lines, that would be Nashville, Tennessee. Ley lines are also known as sacred roads of Hermes. Where that pyramid used to be that's not down there no more. It's a, it's a nice bow. It's almost like the Indians and the Romans made it. A little bit of Indian, a little bit of I need a balcony. And look in the background. What is that? Ah, the Parthenon, which is also illustrated in this 6,000 year old cave. So then, so then I kept looking at cave art, all right? So here's the part where I was like, Ugh. And I had to come make a video. All right, so when this image popped up, so when I seen this cave art on the wall, I was like, oh. it damn near almost looked like R-H-E-C. My first thought was this music video it reminded me of that I'd done uh, like six years ago with B-Loose. Way long time ago. And then I seen this number in the bottom, I think it's 1428. Yeah, 1428. So, just out of curiosity, I was like, I'm gonna go to Google and type it in to see what comes up. See if it's anything that has to do with music videos or Roman stuff. <laughs> Watch this. First thing that popped up for me was stuff about filming with cameras. So then I typed in the same thing and then Roman afterwards and clicked enter. This is what pops up. All right, now remember what that says. Because remember last week when I woke up and I was like, dude, I wrote this really good quote and I want y'all to see it. And I posted this. All right, so we're almost done. This is the last three things that you're gonna be like, there ain't no way. But hey, 
There's no way I could make this up. I'd have to be like, you know, 6,000 years old. So when I had seen, so when I had seen, so when I seen the art piece we already looked at, it looked like it said REC almost. I thought of this certain video and I'm sitting here going through this cave art and I see this, this elaborate piece of cave art. Bro, when you see what you're about to see, uh, like I said, if I'm reaching, I got the shortest arms in the world. All right, so when you're looking at this, really think about this. On the left, you have a guy who is illuminated. On the right, you have a guy who is doing something or getting up out of this chair, right? Okay, well, B. Luce's name, Luce, means light. He's been with me my entire career. So, so B, fil so B films my videos. So you can't see B while he's filming, obviously. Bro, look at that cave art and look at this piece of this music video. And I don't wanna cast no stone, but I feel like I'm sitting on a throne that's about to self implode. In a house made of glass that is already cracked, and destruction's coming fast. And I see no love, I see no pride, I just see blood on our own flags. Yeah, on our own grass. Bro, I just realized the back of that jacket is a French flag, like Montier. Holy shit. Not only that, it's the song's called Bloodshed. What happened dur what happened during the uncivil civil war? Probably bloodshed, dude. Church. What what's been one of the topics this week everybody's talking about? People's being like, oh wait a minute, uh history's not making that much sense right now. And how your kids gonna learn from mistakes we made in the past when you were racing their shit like you wanted to be loud. Now look, hold up. Same video. Look at that last frame you just seen. It's at the feet of the illuminated one in the cave. That exact frame. Now I'm sure you do, but do you know what B. Loose looks like? The guy who films all my videos? This is me and him in the picture. Now in this 6,000 year old cave, look at this artwork of this guy looking at a ghost. Bruh, ain't that fucking cool? I think it is, and if you don't, then fuck you! But also, one last picture. The night that we finished Blue Jeans 2, me, B. Loose, Kalani, and Star all got a canvas, and we all smacked our hands on it. I'm gonna go grab it. Four hand marks, right after Blue Jeans 2 was done. One, two, three, four. Now look at this last piece of artwork in this cave. Smell you later. Porch lights flickering cause the ghost filling my buzz. Hill clicking in the country of place you'll never find. With a mean rock while the black berries on the vine. All I smell is muddy water, honey, circles of deer. Me cheat them counting in my veins. Dirty water has made me that rebel flag junkie. Mr. General Ely with the voice of the mud strong. Harvey the D. Well, the ball, 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 ball.